Welcome back to the workshop everybody. So glad you could be with me here today. Walter here at the workbench. So what you see right now is a Sandusky plane with an Ohio tool blade in it. Blade set I should say. It has a blade and a chip breaker. This plane is approximately 100 years old. I picked it up in Maine for $45, put a couple hours cleaning, oiling, and polishing it, sharpening the blade, and it does all the jointing I need it to do. It is 26 inches long, so it makes short work of getting a straight edge. Now, the last video I posted was on paying homage to the ancients, to those people who worked with none of our modern conveniences. Well, this beauty is an 18th century, so that would be 1700s, style plane. But it's made out of curly maple from my own personal stock by a man who is well known in the woodworking community. His name is Bill Anderson. Bill made this plane for me and it is perhaps my most prized possession. It is a single iron. And when I say single iron, I mean the blade is uncut. There's no slot in it. It is an old W. Butcher warranted. I don't know if you can see that. And so it does not have a chip breaker. Bill did not make this a super tight mouth, but it's a jointer. It's 29 inches long. You talk about making short work of jointing an edge. It's a beauty. It is a beauty. Now, single iron planes typically, if they do not have a very tight mouth, do not take an extremely fine shaving. I can try and thin that shaving down a little bit. That's a little bit thinner. You can hear it's a thinner cut. Okay? It's a little thinner. But it's still over one to possibly one and a half, two thousandths of an inch. Thickness doesn't matter. You have to get the work done. So, this is a modern day plane made in the 18th century tradition. This is a 19th century plane. This is a Sandusky, and it has an Ohio tool double blade set. It has a blade, and I don't know if you can see it, but it has a chip breaker. And it is a tapered iron. More on tapered irons another day, but this plane will give me less tear out than will Bill's plane. My planes, my smoother that I use, that I made, 
is also a single blade plane but it has an extremely tight mouth, a shorter length. So this is a smoother. Okay? Now, if we go back 75 to maybe 80 or 90 years, we'll get into the Stanley Bailey patent planes. And these planes are iron body, cast iron. And they will take a similar shaving, but at a flick of the wheel, just a flick of that wheel, I can reduce that thickness. Just a flick of that wheel, and I can get thinner and thinner. And thinner so it always amazes me that people with this type of accuracy Stanley Bailey patent plane still turn to power sanders to get a smooth finish when in reality they they don't realize that in the 18th century 17th century 16th century maybe even <laughs> even into the 15th and 14th century what to to the beginning of time when planes were used, all they had was a single blade. A single iron is set in a block of wood. So, in closing, I am paying homage to Bill Anderson, who made me this beautiful plane. Absolutely magnificent plane. And with the wood I sent him, there are several other planes out there that are like this. Magnificent. I pay homage to the Sandusky Ohio Tool Company, to those men and women who worked in those industries to be able to give us tools that in the late 1800s, early 1900s, produced all of the cathedrals and civic buildings and furniture that was around. Until, of course, the Industrial Revolution. And then I pay homage to those men and women who worked at the Stanley Tool Works. They were able to produce a tool that Leonard Bailey invented. A tool that lives on into today's world, into 2017. Double iron on an iron frog with a cast iron lever cap, cast iron body, okay? These tools don't become redundant. They continue to work forever and ever. There is no sandpaper on the planet that will give you the finish that this gives you in the same amount of time. That's about all I can say. Thank you, Bill. This is a beautiful plane, and I use it, and I think of you daily. 
I hope that you found some of this inspirational. I hope that you understand a little bit more about our craft. I mean, this is... Maybe I should take a little more time and clean this up and polish it up and put a finish on it and make it look a little nicer, carve my initials in it or something. Because one day somebody will look at this tool and say, this was Walter's tool. He made this. He used this to make other things. But if not, you, if, see, here's the thing. If I can do this, me, Walter, you can do this. You can make your own tools. You can clean up and restore your own tools. You can create furniture, interior trim, houses. You can do it. Why do I know you can do it? Because I did it. I'm no, I, I'm sorry. I'm not a rocket scientist. And if I can do this, so can you. Hey, listen, head out to your shop. Think about your tools. Think about who made them. Use them and go make some shavings. Walter out.